I can't remember a time that I didn't love animals and I was one of those kids that used to drive my parents insane wanting to bring home pets. We had a whole menagerie. For me it was a natural progression. I went to an agricultural high school and I really enjoyed the science based subjects and the agriculture of playing with animals on my school farm. You know, I worked really hard in my HSC to get into vet science because I knew that it was very challenging to get in, get the marks. Um, but nothing prepared me for the workload once I was in. So it was really exciting to start university and make a whole lot of new friends, but there was no slacking off on the study. My fondest memories would have to be when I first started uni. It was so exciting for everybody because we were all just left school, making new friends, and we came together with a common goal. So my first year of university was a really good bonding time where I made friends that I'm still really close friends with. It's a pretty magical time, I think, that transition from school through to university. I'm really passionate about helping people enhance the bond they share with their pet and that starts right from choosing the right pet for their lifestyle. So the appropriate pet for the amount of time they've got to spend with it, to groom it, to exercise it, etc. Because that big decision will affect how they get on with their pet for their whole life. And also just the basic training of a pet to ensure that it's actually going to be a member of your family that you're very comfortable to have. So I, I work a lot to try and help people avoid some of the common behaviour issues that are, you know, like chewing, digging, barking, that are often just stemming from boredom. The big thing that I do is teach people how to manage their puppies appropriately and giving the dogs a job and things to do when people aren't at home to avoid them getting bored. I haven't worked in a vet clinic for a long, long time. I only worked as a vet for a little while after I graduated. But what I do is I work with the public and the pet owners and I help educate them about pet care, basic animal health, and also I try very hard to guide them into their vet. You know, a lot of the members of the public think that vets are, charge a lot of money and they don't quite understand why. Hopefully I can help explain that and promote the profession in a way without actually having to work in a clinic. So I feel like I'm almost like a, a buffer person that encourages people to, to see their vets and also explains what the vets do, why they need to go to the vets. I think when I went through vet science there was not a lot of emphasis on the importance of the client interaction and also, I mean, look how things have changed. And there's social media now, there's email, there's all of these things that didn't exist back then as well. And so now it's a lot easier for vets to communicate directly with their clients and give a lot of positive information as well and have a little bit more fun. You know, vets don't need to be scary. They need to be you know, seen as real people that actually have a heart and care. There's been a, a really big shift to how pets are treated at the home. And these days, the majority of pets well, in, the, in the city live inside. The dogs live inside, the cats don't roam, and they share our lives. So most people, I mean I did a survey on my Facebook page, and something like 80% of people buy their pets a Christmas present. So that's all changed, you know, there's a, there's a really big vibe that pets are part of the family. And I think as vets we've had to move forward and actually acknowledge that and appreciate that and, and embrace it as well.